Kitsap County housing inventory continues to increase as do seller price reductions and pending and sold sales are down. None of this is looking good for sellers or the housing market. It is looking good though for home buyers. Up next are the surprising changes in pendings and solds and what we've all been waiting for are home prices beginning to drop. Housing inventory is up 15% this week. Inventory is 520 as of Monday this week. As we discussed last week, I believe inventory will continue to increase faster than many in the real estate industry have been expecting. While there are many reasons for increasing inventory, including sellers trying to catch the market while it's still high, one of the main reasons for increasing inventory right now, I believe, is that a main pressure point that began in 2020 is beginning to be deflated. Look at this Fred chart and you can see an obvious housing bubble. During the pandemic, which you can clearly see the start of in this Fred chart, inventory had exceptional pressure due to pandemic buying and work from home buying, which is now easing. In addition, we had record low interest rates, which are now rising. Delayed new construction because of supply chain issues, labor shortages, and high material costs, which are all now easing, and quantitative easing, which put trillions of dollars into our monetary system. Much of the QE, or quantitative quantitative easing ended up as stimulus money in people's 401ks. They use this money from their 401ks to fund real estate purchases, which helped drive prices up. The QE also drove up stock prices. We saw many buyers use their 401k stocks and retirement funds to fund their real estate purchases. This helped drive home prices up. Now the Fed is sucking money out of the monetary system like a vacuum, and this is called quantitative tightening. As we see all of these pandemic related reasons ease, we are likely to see a substantial increase in inventory. Homes sold for 2.46 over list price this week, a slight uptick from last week. When I'm calling agents for prices for pending listing sales, we are seeing lower pending sale prices, meaning the accepted offer prices on pending sales are around list price right now. This means that I expect in the next couple weeks to see the sales price to list price percentage should begin to hover around list price. New listings were up 25% this week at 152. Back on market were 18. Price reduced reached 91 this week, and price reduced had a high of 111 last Friday. 30% of active listings in Kitsap County have reduced price sometime during their listing period. There were 104 pending sales. Pending sales decreased 12% from last week, and they decreased 46% from two weeks ago. We will need to watch to see if this is a trend that will continue. Solds are down 13% this week at 90. What this means for sellers is that there are fewer buyers in the market and this is not a surprise. I will say that we are still seeing healthy buyer activity while the days of consistent 10% plus over list price offers may be over for sellers. Sellers can still expect strong fair offers on a well-priced listing that is backed by MLS sales data. What this means for buyers is less competition and a more fair negotiation table. 30% of pendings waived inspection this week. So we're seeing waived inspections just slowly tick down. Ticket days on market is 14 and we do expect days on market to get longer. The big news this week is average sold price is down 6% to $573,000. As we've seen price drops happening in the pending data from four to six weeks ago. All right, folks, that's a wrap. Leave your comments and questions below. Thank you for joining us. Please tap that subscribe button. It really does help. We'll see you right here next week.